Hello beautiful people, David here, and I'm finally reacting to something that I've been dying to react to for like the last 48 hours. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. It's Hell of a Boss, Season 1, Episode 1. For those of you who don't know, there's a pilot for this show. It's also it's made by Vivzy Pop, who also made Has Been Hotel, that pilot, and so she's been really prolific with her team. And I'm so happy to finally see Hell of a Boss actually with Episode 1, Murder Family, out. So let's jump into this. I am super excited. I can't wait to react to this. For those of you who don't know, I also did a shot-by-shot -shot breakdown of the pilot for Hell of a Boss, so check that out. It'll be up floating somewhere, but check that out after we do this. Let's go! Original link down in the description as well. Not a market substitute. Help her out. The following cartoon contains graphic violence- okay, great. <laughs> this said horny something? This is great. It's so clean looking, which I really appreciate. Your oh my god, it's so great to see humans in their style. We love to do our homework, and we love our teacher too. Then when I throw out these fun questions, you should know just what to do. Okay. Two plus six is eight, and good behavior is eight. And it's now the part of the class when we say the time of day and date. It's nine and this is no classroom that exists in the real world. And it's your husband's birthday. Interesting. Uh, is there a kid with a dunce cap in the corner? She's evil, isn't she? Or not. Oh, my stars? Stop singing, children. Hush up now. I forgot it's my husband's birthday. I didn't get him anything special. Maybe if we call him, we could do a happy birthday surprise. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. We're I right told there. You, we're not going to use things. Right there. Oh, yeah. Such a good art style. Oh, my God. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. That is a okay. terrible way to find that out. Nope, she- now she's evil. Oh, That's so sad! I love how the kids were just there, too, <laughs> as she boots that up. Wow, that was fast. Dang! In front of you all. I'm so sorry, my children. Don't forget to I love the pacing. <laughs> you do everything right in life. Did she Play by kill herself? And still get sent down here with all the Hitlers and Epsteins of the world. After one measly Oh, is that her? By blind rage. So that's why I'm here. Oh no. To get my revenge. I mean, was she hotter? I'm just saying, I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melodrama you just spat at me, tits. Oh, that's so cool to see how humans change, what the features they keep and what they don't in this universe. It sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of a death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. That whore survived. Now they all call her a hero. How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? I oh my god. I hope that sick woman finally found peace. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh! Jeez. Oh, she's bitter now. And so she I went to help. That's so cool. She also looks so just like her. Cash, getting shot just like she did. Thing to happen to her. You're a hero! You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. She is a hero. <laughs> You're a hero. You're a hero! You're yes. a hero! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my gosh, how much of this? Do I need to censor this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Deranged client. I love it. Moxie, stop shaking. You're gonna shoot our only hail ham. Wow, I feel so loved here. Just take a deep breath and let it out. But it's a family. Oh, Richard Horvitz. <laughs> so good. A human family. I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad. Or a mob family. That's understandable. But to eradicate an entire innocent, seemingly in this instance, upper middle class family bloodline? Hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online. <laughs> and this guy, this guy definitely watches. 
Exactly. Humans Good are all the secret nasties. It's why so many of them end up here. But guilty and innocent aren't our business, Mox. Killing who we're paid to is our business. Shoot the target. I just think it's a bit excessive, and we could be a bit more selective, is all. Guys, I want you to meet. Yay! He got him. Our newest client. Oh. Damn it, Moxie! I just bought those eels. <laughs> this is so great. I am, don't worry, we'll get that. Even without the pilot, you know exactly what everyone's about. When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! Now someone please tell me that fancy book is still intact! You mean intact <laughs> get to the other side? Oh my god, that's awesome. And that's why Don't have to stop payment when you take a couple you weeks. A that's now. amazing. Ew, stop. Terrible that. font though. You're so gross. Aw, Of course I missed that dialogue. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. Oh, fuck. All right, to the human world. That's gotta be her. So you're introduced to the concept in the pilot, but they're assassins, basically. Real human world assassins. Just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Snooze you lose, Mox. And I got you, bitch. Wait, are we actually killing a family? No, don't be a puss. We're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. But hold, hold on, hold on. Let's just think. Oh, he's gonna ruin it. Oh my God, Moxie, why? What was that, Ralphie? I don't know, Martha. But whatever it is, they're gonna be a tomorrow night's dinner. Oh, it's the kid from the pilot. I just saw that. All right, kid. I think. Guns out. Looks like we got some rabbits to catch, youngins. <laughs> oh, this is great. What the fuck was that, Moxie? I'm sorry. They just seem so wholesome and happy. Oh, not now. I panicked. Oh, who the fuck is innocent Moxie? From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite leeching off your mama's kids. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby dick. A new hole! Scatter! <laughs> Jeez. Wait, this is weird though. Doesn't the pilot establish that Moxie does this already? And he's fine with it? Huh. Oh. oh, this is cool. It's like elements of horror and action. And organized crime. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> well, hello, little what a concept for a show. Oh, they are so future clients. Bless this mess. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> Crazy hillbilly family, gotta love it. That's a great thing about the writing for these shows in general. I don't know, Vivzy, if you write them, but... I love that um, there are layers to everything. So much nuance. Now it's a horror. <laughs> oh, damn it, Blitz. This is a really bad time. When isn't it a bad time? This dude! What is it? I've been meaning to follow up on our last little conversation regarding my grimoire. What did you just call me? My book, Blitzy. The book I was given to do my job that I have allowed you to use to do yours. Shit. Hey. Anywho, I have been thinking. You know, I have been permitting you to access the mortal realm less than legally for some time now, but I do need it back to fulfill my duties. I was thinking, what if we worked out some kind of exchange? Oh, God. Favors for favors. Doesn't that sound weird? I think his name is Stolas. You stop using your fancy ass rich people talk, okay? I'm trying to concentrate on not getting fucked in my A. Then let me keep it simple. Once a month, on the full moon, you return the book to me, followed by a night of passionate fornication. And 
you get to keep it all the rest of the time. Hmm? Oh God. Sound fair, my little imp? Fine, whatever. Oh, Blitz, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to feel your slimy c inside of my. <laughs> yes, this again. Gotcha. So good. <laughs> so you're a little devil, huh? You come to drag me and my kin to hell. Well, not today, Satan. Gonna send y'all back where you came from. God, she's crazy. I love her design, though. Her twisted smile and everything. It's so good. I've always loved that art aesthetic. Oh god. Yeah, like, the whole family has it. It's so great. Yeah, just the ear-to-ear -ear grin with the eyes. Oh god. That's alright. Show some moxie, moxie. I really wanted to say that. Yes, I've been wanting to say that for a while. That fucking shot. God damn it, moxie. Satan, we return your filthy creatures He ain't Satan. to the pits of hell. What happens if they die? Can they die? Uh oh. I was like, they're fine? Probably? Yeah, that's not exactly how it works, ladies. Sorry, your fire doesn't really hurt us, but I mean, I could fake it if that'll get your dick hard. Oh, shit. Well, I'll just shoot you in your smart ass mouth. That would be more effective. Blitz! What is? Oh, good to know. Oh my. You're not getting your goddamn paycheck for this one, Mox. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm fine. I'm <laughs> sorry, sir. I compromised our objective and put us in harm's way. It won't happen again. I promise. Apology accepted. Well, the job's but done. If you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will fuck you and your wife. All righty, job well done. Whoa. Now let's get off. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, give me a moment. Who's HR I again? <laughs> I left at the house. Okay, fine, but hurry up. Luna, we're ready to come home, dear. Hmm. <laughs> Stole it. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Wait, is he finishing? What are you gonna do, little guy? Kill us? I should. You people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. Hmm. I'm handling this my way. He's an imp, so he's not dead, right? Uh, my understanding is the imps are born and bred in hell, yes, so they're kitchen. they're kind of native. What is this for? It's a universal remote. Got it for the kids. Aww. <laughs> God damn it, Moxie. Yes, have a good wank off session, Moxie. Excuse me. Look, I don't care where you come in the living world. Just come to your job on time. All right. See you at the office. The innuendo is a little heavy-handed, but now, I can get I past it. The animation is so good, though. And I love the characters. Design-wise. And personality-wise. Well! Well, Moxie, you said you'd let the authorities handle it. <laughs> That's great. To another oh. mission accomplished, and Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up, but I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. <laughs> My god. <laughs> okay. By the way, the guy who voices Blitz, is it purple? Is it tallest purple? I think it is. I'm not sure though. Again, Editor Dave will probably have the answer, unless I just throw this video up and don't do my research. I probably should watch this episode again though, just in case I missed something because I was talking. I probably did. Probably should be able to put in some witty commentary from Editor Dave about anything that I was stupid and overlooked or talked over. See, I didn't notice things like this. Have you done your homework? Immediately goes to the bad corner. Hold on, let's look at that. I hope you all did your homework. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That's so smooth. That's that's what I appreciate though about this show. It is 
so buttery smooth and the pacing is great like whoever like i guess i'm just gonna blame blame all the good good stuff on vivzy i'm sure there are other people who come up with ideas as well but just the pacing of this show is so good it's very much appropriate for the very add nature of people who consume entertainment today it's very interesting territory to tread on making like a legit cartoon for youtube so there's definitely gonna have to be some things that change but also it looks so much like something that could be on tv characters look so good and there's really interesting stuff for example okay when she perishes and becomes this this has me thinking so much stuff about like what happens like to humans when they become demons in hell like you definitely can see get an idea of what she looked like before where there's a good picture there's a good picture boom 237 and then 55 boom 55 237 yeah, like, her hair is, like, much more on the fritz. Her figure is, like, the same. I really love that kind of thing, seeing how they change, like, what's kept on model, what's not. I love how she's got claws now and tattered shirt. So good. Those poor kids, though, <laughs> who watched a ton of crazy stuff. Those kids grew up really fast, let me tell you that. Her students. But, yeah, like, it has me thinking about the whole process and the lore behind this universe. Because also, Hasbin Hotel is part of this universe as well. And I love just seeing, like, okay, how long, what's the pipeline for when a person dies? Do they just fall into hell looking like this? It's very interesting to me. And let's go, also, there was something else. Yeah. Their eyes. So, I'm assuming, you know, uh, all the imps, I'm assuming, and I could be very wrong on this, I could be very off base, but I'm assuming they're born in hell. Like, they don't, they were never people, they're just hell's servants and they just know hell they've been in hell forever and that's their thing but their clients are people like her who died and went to hell and they have a lot more hate in their hearts and i'm really noticing the eyes because she has the same eyes as katie killjoy and a lot of the other characters that are demons in the has been hotel so i'm wondering if the eyes are good tell us who was once a human who was not which gives you the idea that maybe like luna doesn't really have those eyes but she also may have died who knows i don't even know like seems like she has different eyes but they're very similar to the girl's eyes so i don't know i might be looking too much into this but that's just something that stood out to me. Frickin' Stolis stole us the show. That was a terrible joke, but oh my god, these kids look so creepy and I love it. Where, where's Stolis? He was one of my favorite parts of the original pilot, and I look forward to seeing episodes that more focus on him. The last thing I'll mention is that I really like the whole nuance of this show in that it kind of focuses on basically bad people. Wait, let's get a nice image here. Oh, oh my god, that's perfect. I'm guessing the thesis of this show is that everyone has darkness in them, or maybe it's even a little bit more heavy-handed in that everyone's freaking bad and awful, because she is doing- although maybe not, because the kids were really nice. The kids that were her students at the beginning, they were pretty legit. But the whole nuance of her dying because she murdered the person, and then she became a hell's de denizen, but these people are also awful at the same time. So it really kind of like, it's more than just gray area to me. I like, I think, I feel like this might be a more heavy handed approach to the show. We'll have to see what other episodes do. Maybe they're going to actually just kill some legit good people. Like who knows like what they have to end up doing, but we'll see. But again, like the whole du the duality of man. Um, but uh, in terms of like these people really showing a sinister side, kind of letting the audience feel like it's okay to off them i wonder how it's going to be because the whole premise of has been hotel and hell of a boss this universe is that everyone sucks the people in hell certainly suck because why would they be in hell otherwise the people who are native to hell just don't have regard for mortal life at all and they'll do whatever they need to and then oh, i'm also noticing the humans pretty much for the most part almost all suck so that was kind of the idea in the pilot as well, because that one kid was just a total brat. So, I don't know. I can't wait to see what they do with more of this. Like, God, she she's just... Look at her. Look at that face. Um, but again, like, these kids 
I think these kids are genuinely good people. They might not be now. They might be scarred for life, but who knows? I guess only time will tell. Thanks, guys, for enduring my little breakdown and analysis of that. I'm really excited to see where this show goes, so I hope you enjoyed it. As always, do like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't, and smack the bell so you don't miss a thing going forward. I will be reacting to more of these episodes as they get released. I also game. I'm releasing Paper Mario Let's Play right now, Paper Mario Origami King, so you can keep an eye out for that. And I do art and lots of other fun stuff. It's just the mixed bag. You get this, though. You get just me being crazy. So... I hope you enjoy your day and just tell someone you love them. This is Dave out. Peace out. Bye.